The news headline Rep spokesman to Ababio make public your claims. The spokesman for the House of Representatives, Benjamin Kahn APC Abia, has alleged that the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Goswil Ababio, has not proved his allegation against members of the parliament. In a statement, Kahn challenged the minister to go public with documents to prove that 60% of contracts in the Niger Delta Development Commission and the DC was awarded to lawmakers. He recalled that Ababio had made the allegation at an investigative hearing on the alleged 40 billion naira financial malfeasance in the NDDC. He recalled that the Speaker of the House, Femi Batibe Mela, challenged the minister to publish, publish the list of the members within 48 hours. According to him, instead of publishing the list for the world to see in the interest of transparency, the minister chose to send an eight paragraph private letter to the Speaker. Carlo explained that the letter by the minister was the letter by the minister made reference to projects of 2018, which predates the ninth House of Representatives and had little to do with the bogus allegation. The House therefore retreats that the minister was given an ultimatum to publish names and not to write a personal letter to the speaker. The minister is hereby cautioned to desist from spinning tales and is invited to go public as instructed. Nevertheless, it will interest Nigerians to know that paragraph 3 of the minister's letter fully is in the the ninth assembly. Also in paragraph 7, the minister completely withdrew his previous statement about 60% of the NDDC projects being awarded to the members of the ninth assembly. It is also instructive for Nigerians to know that the total number of projects in the 2019 NDDC budget was 5,959, out of which 5,416 projects were rolled over from 2018, which the ninth house assembly obviously had no influence or control over, he said. Carlos said that Ababio presented an effectual spreadsheet of only 266 projects, out of which 20 projects were attracted by past members of the National Assembly as constituency projects. He said that the projects were given to the members of, as contractors, both in furtherance of their representative mandate for the constituency. According to him, the projects presented in the Ababio's letter are not within the scope of investigation and has not and has nothing to do to address the leadership ultimatum. Carlos said, contrary to the mischievous narrative peddled on the internet, the only mention of the chairman of the NDDC committee of the Ninth House of Representatives, Ulubumi Toji Ojo, in that letter was as to his alleged request for the complete payment of 19 contractors. The legislator said the contractors had approached Toji Ojo with complaints complaints about NDDC non-payment for their services. He added that the allegation had been completely refuted by Toji Ojo and for which there is no evidence linking him. The spokesman, however, said that the directive to press charges against the Ababio had not been lifted by the House as the leadership was busy considering the weight of the minister's letter. If it does not clear the doubt and wrong perspective, it will be sent to the court for clearance as the speaker stated. He added, thank you for listening and don't forget to hit the red button below.